is a quick video on how to set up your AI powered community manager uh, with uh, iData AutoComment and ChatGPT. So it's quite simple. Once you've uh, connected a page in connected pages, then you can create a campaign and you can select the social network you want your campaign to uh, to be on. You have to select uh, the page you want it to work on and you're going to give a name to your uh, automation. So for example, it's going to be for example uh, iData chat GPT. Okay, and I'm going to activate it on all posts. Okay, and uh, I could select only some posts or only the ads, so which can be very interesting, but it's going to be just on all posts. I'm going to select the chat GPT option. Okay, and the way it's going to work, I'm going to need like uh, an open uh, AI API key. So we have a forum thread, so on forum.edita.io on how to get an OpenAI API key. So it's basically creating an account and going to a specific link. Okay, and then there you can create a, a new secret key. Once you have uh, set up your API and validated it, uh, you have this confirmation that the API key can be used. And uh, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to have like um, in the same uh, manner as in the rest of the of the platform, the other options, you can respond with private message or respond uh, publicly. OK, and the way it's going to work, it's like, just like in ChatGPT, you need to create your own prompt. So here is a placeholder. So you're going to tell ChatGPT how they should behave privately and publicly. So this is the prompt. So act as a community manager on Facebook. The page you work for does a product named iData with the three main features. So for example, chatbot, live chat, the yeah, auto commenter. Uh, a user commented on a post saying post. So this is the variable with the following comment. So you insert the comment. This is a variable as well. The commenter name is full name. Write an engaging message between 20 and 30 words to be sent privately to their inbox and make sure to include the link to our website. So you can adapt this completely free and you can as well adapt the public part. OK, so you, you work for uh, iData and this is quite similar since uh, the automation is working on social media. You want it to engage in a particular way. For example, you can ask it to try to ask a question. So in that manner, you're going to engage even more your customers. You're going to engage them and you're going to increase the number of views on your post thanks to that. So once you've done that, it's quite simple. You're going to publish your campaign. So it's uh, well done. OK, and it's going to appear in your campaign list and you're going to be able to use it on and, and test it on your uh, own page. And so we're going to test it. Uh, on a, an actual post. So this is the Facebook page. I uh, set up the automation on and I'm going to write a comment. So this is a, a comment about the Big Bang, Big Bang World Day. So and I'm going to write um, it feels like AI is some kind of tech Big Bang. And let's send it. So we're going to have to wait for a few seconds. And here we are, uh, we received a private message written by uh, GPT 3.5. Thanks for the comment, some a few hashtags and so on. And of course, if you don't want hashtags and things like that, you can change the prompt. So that's for the private message. Now let's refresh the page. And what we're going to see is the public message, uh, the public message. So you see the question you, you requested in order to engage the, the customer and a few hashtags. So this is really uh, the future of community management and you can build now your own automation and your own community manager on private replies.idata.io.